Good morning, my name is Sin Bagley and today is June 13th, 2022 and I'm doing my daily I Ching practice with Paul O'Brien's Visionary I Ching. First I'll do three deep breaths. Now I'll cast the coin six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just a little side note, you can find Paul O'Brien's Visionary I Ching app at Google Play Store. Um, you may be able to find it on Apple, I have no idea. Today, the first hexagram is 15 which is humility and I'll read the changing lines. Changing line 4 Beware of false modesty even humility a most benevolent virtue can be overdone. In your current situation however this is not a serious mistake because of responsibility you are willing to take on. People in humble positions use sometimes use false modesty as an excuse for their weakness or indecisiveness. True humility does not mean having humble goals or slack attitude regarding performance standards. Take pride in your achievements and contributions. It's very different from the puffed up pride of self-importance. Changing line five, the wise do not hesitate to take desperate measures when circumstances require them. When a responsible person takes a bold action, he or she is careful to see that the response is not coming from a sense of self-importance, but is merely equal to the need. In tough situations, make sure objectivity and clarity of purpose support your position. And once strong action has won the day, the honorable warrior shrinks back into the crowd. And changing line two, which is the future, mutual attraction. The attraction of opposites is a power and fundamental force, especially that of a mutual attraction in the beginning stages. In response to the magnetic attraction between two people, the masculine principle, the creative and outgoing, seizes the inattentive and then submits to the feminine, the receptive and nourishing. When the assertive is able to defer to the receptive, and when the receptive accepts the responsibility and is exercises its quiet leadership, an electric and profitable union is the result. This brings good fortune for all. This brings good fortune for all. Success depends upon the effects of mutual attraction in some form or another. I think that is considered magnetism if you're talking about it. Two objects. Consistency is important in matters of mutual attraction, for this is what separates courtship from mere seduction. If you are the initiator by nature, it is good for, to make the first move. But you must remain sensitive and highly principled to avoid the temptation to be at all manipulative. Let the power of mutual attraction pull you along. If you are the receptive one, keep your mind innocent and free of pride, so that you may remain open to good advice or helpful assistance. When your influence rises from innocence, a power magnetic force is at work for you. Either way, remaining open to the forces of attraction brings good fortune. Closing yourself off to them shuts down the soul. Learn to yield to the tugs and pulls of the heart. So it's been a very hard week. Um, hopefully I'm back. Um, and I hope that you have a great day.